Hello, welcome to a new episode on the Countryside Cooking. Um, today we're in uh, Cordoba Sierras and we're going to be making a traditional Argentinian asado. So we've got some lovely cuts of meat down here, which we've got from the butcher. But first things first, let's go get the fire started. Okay, so we've got two options for the fire. We have carbon and leña, or as you might know it, charcoal and firewood. We're going to use leña because it gives it that nice smoky flavour. So, let's go. Okay, so we've got seven cuts of meat, and normally it's about half a kilo of meat per person. So we've got some beautiful uh, costillas, which are ribs. We have the metambre, which is flank steak. My personal favorite, the entrecote. We've got chorizo, which is sausage. The morcilla, which is very similar to black pudding, but it has more moisture inside. We have mojeca, which is sweetbreads. And of course, the chinchulin, which is small intestine. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to marinate the mosheka and the chinchulin. A little bit of bay leaf, a little bit of bay leaf in there, a little bit of salt. Just mix that around. We're going to put some lemon on top. Now, now we're going to salt the rest of the meat. Okay, so salt the other side. We're not going to salt the chorizo or the morcilla because it already has salt inside. Okay, so we've got a nice even heat for the top there. Perfect. So let's get the ribs on first. We're going to put the ribs on. And the mojeca and the chinchurin. Because they are the two that take the longest to cook. Just put that on there. The other one's taking a little bit less time, so that's fine. So let's just leave that and check on it in about 10 minutes. Okay, so with the Argentinian asado, we got, normally have two sauces. We have a salsa criolla and a chimichurri. So we're going to crack on and get them done. So we're going to do the salsa criolla first. Okay, so we've got a pepper, onions, some spring onion, some parsley. We'll do a little bit of garlic. And a tomato. Okay, so I'm just going to chop up the parsley and what we're going to do, we're going to put it in these flasks and then just give it a shake. vinegar, a little bit of vegetable oil, I'm going to put some olive oil in it as well, a little bit of salt in there, bay leaf, some spicy paprika here, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that in as well, just to give it a bit of kick, lid on, and just give it a shake. Now we'll do the chimichurri. Paprika here, some chili, some bay leaves, oil, some oregano, and some pasta. Okay. Salt and of course lemon. 
and no shake. So what we're going to do with both, we're going to put them in the fridge and let them cool down a little bit. I'll get you to top, I'm just going to turn these over. Like so. Look at the colour, the colour on that's perfect. Oh yeah. Okay, and then what we'll do, we'll just put the other, the rest of the meat on. So what we've done is with the matam rate, we're just going to fold it, fold it in half, like so, and put it on. And chorizo, and massage. Perfect. Okay, let's come back to that later. Okay, now for the salad. We're going to do a really traditional salad that, that's made here for the asados. We've got some washed lettuce, carrot, tomato, and boiled egg. So now we're going to do a little vinaigrette for the, for the salad, a bit of seasoning, and then we're going to go and check on the meat, see if it's ready, because I think it is. Um, and then let's eat. Okay, so vinaigrette, really easy dressing for the, for the salad. Olive oil. Balsamic. A bit of salt. Pepper. Put it up. Shake it together. And what we'll do is drizzle. Drizzle around the sides. And then what we'll do with the forks, which we'll is bring it all in together. Like so. Okay, so we're going to turn the meat over. That's what the nice colour we want on the other side. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. We're not going to turn the other meat over because that's basically ready. Um, and in about five minutes, we'll be good to eat. Okay, so salad's done. Sauces are done. The meat is ready. We're just missing the beer. So let's get it. Okay, let's make a start with that and we'll come back for this one. 